Hi, this is Will Lachenko on DA. Um, couldn't resist the temptation to uh, to have a play with the uh, the winner of today's pet awards. This, uh, this picture of the dog. Uh, you'll notice here that the there are certain areas uh, just around the dog here that didn't quite get uh, get all the way to black. So I thought I'd uh, have a little bit of a play. See if we can't get that down to, uh, to pure black as I guess was intended. First thing I always do is uh, to make a copy of the background layer just in case I do something I want to get back to. Uh, I do that by doing on the Mac a Command J, on the PC that would be a uh, Control J. If on your particular screen you can't see these areas very clearly, uh, the areas that were, uh, were meant to be black, best thing to do is to grab this tool here, the adjustment layer, and to uh, apply levels. Take the right hand part of this, uh, this tool here, slide it way over to the left, then you'll see the image start to brighten up, and we can now see these areas here that didn't quite make it to black. We can get rid of this just by dumping that off there. Now what we need to do <coughs> is to get this down to black. You'll see as well that uh, in the original edit, edit uh, a very hard brush was used. You can tell by these very sharp edges that it was a very hard brush. What we're going to use is a very, very soft brush. The tool we're going to select is over here. <coughs> We need the burn tool. On this menu you have the dodge tool, the burn tool and the sponge tool. We're going to select the burn tool. From this drop down up here we're going to select the shadows because it's the dark parts we want to, uh, want to burn down. Now from the exposure slider we want to go for around about 10%. That'll do nicely. Also on the tool here make sure that your brush is set right down as soft as it will go. Uh, Actually, make that zero if you like, uh, and set the uh, set the brush size to be around about one well, the one I've got here for this application, around about 88 pixels in my case. Just click here. Before we start dodging, uh, we have to remember we're currently on this layer here, so we need to select the layer below, the one we want to actually do the dodging on. So just a left click on there, and now we're ready to go. Left click and hold, and then just brush away these areas here. Now you'll see that I can overlap the dog's hair. That's because we're dodging the shadows and not the highlights. And so the highlights, which are the light parts, don't immediately get affected by this particular tool. And so I can overlap a little bit, and you'll see now, all being well, if I turn this layer off, I think we're just about there. Finally, we can just take this tool, this, uh, this adjustment level, sorry, and we can drop that straight in the bin. That's gone, and for a before and after effect, we can just simply unclick this little pick, this little eye here, the indicator of the visibility. On, off, on, off. There we go. Job done.